Steve Ship. And these 500 masks actually came out of his house. Oh, so, uh, my believe it or not, goodness. these were all in. Can you imagine your living room looking like this? And that's why he wanted to bring them all and put yeah. them on display so everyone else can see them. Steve, how long does your collection go back? Um, the mask collection goes back to the 60s, and some of the horror uh, or Halloween memorabilia goes back to the 30s and 40s, like old vintage noisemakers and such. <laughs> be able to expect and what will they be able to do if they want to walk through the museum here? Well, this is again, this will be one facet. We also have a natural history section and a specific curiosity and art section. Hi, Steve! Um, here, when it's labeled and done, it'll, you'll be seeing a timeline it's of, so of Halloween yeah. masks. Um, again, yeah. it's more of a, a span of time. Seeing masks that would rarely survive, the fact that they're even here is something special. All the way to things that are manufactured, one-of-a-kind things, uh, specifically for the mammal. Well, I know you pulled a couple of the masks down for us to take a look at. What is it about these ones that makes them so unique? Well, myself and other uh, mask collectors contacted, this is a Zagoni Studios mask, um, and they started making very specific things for us collectors, and this is one of them. Um, and uh, this is a very old mask made by Don Post from the 60s. This is probably one of the older masks in the collection. And again, this is like made a couple weeks ago. So lots of things going on yeah. here. And I know uh, there are also a lot of safety precautions uh, in place this year in the era of COVID-19. What would you want people to know ahead of time, Ed? Uh, just make sure they wear a mask, social distance themselves. And you want to, in both cases, even here and the haunted house, you necessarily, you really don't have to touch anything. But we also have sanitation stations throughout the haunt and the museum. And the museum here will open the first week of October. Wonderful. So you're still kind of getting the, putting the final touches on the museum here before it's open to everyone. Yeah, this room here is pretty much done. We're still working on natural history. We're working on the oddity section. And we're also working on the morticians and funeral parlor section. <laughs> How exciting. Definitely something for everybody in addition to the haunted attraction. And on your screen right now is a list of some of the precautions that are in place, including wearing a mask, practicing social distancing. You also are limiting the number of, of people that people can have in a group to six people to kind of help along with that social distancing. If you all want to come more, uh, come out to rather Erebus, opening night is tonight. They have a lot of exciting things again. This specific portion opens a little bit later in October, so we'll keep you posted on that. For now, we are live in Pontiac, Veronica Meadows. We'll send it back to you.